everyone, it's Liam Callison here, and we are going to be concluding Season 15 of Red vs. Blue, with the first one being called Red vs. Red. I'm assuming the next one's going to be called Blue vs. Blue, otherwise we're going to have some really um, deep continuity kind of thing, because you've got to have Blue vs. Blue in there, unless you just want to, I don't know, feel for the Reds or something like that, I don't know. Um, so yes, before we do get into the nitty gritty, of course, uh, I want to... You know, issue out a thank you, as well as an apology. Um, yes, a thank you to everyone who's you know been around since the very first days at Blood Gulch, or if you've just joined in in the middle or come towards the end. A thank you for the support for these because it's been nearly a year since I started Red vs Blue, and uh, we're at the end of the journey. Well, the end of the journey for me until. Was it the 15th or the 16th, uh, the Red vs. Blue? I think it's the 15th, uh, I'm only counting 16th because it will be the 16th ste uh, season, but, um, still a year since Red vs. Blue goodness sparked off and, um, it's, it's just been an insane ride. So I want to thank you, uh, say thank you to everyone who has tuned in since the very first days, all the middle or the end, like I said. Who knows? I thank you for sticking around. And for those who stuck around, uh, like I said, I wanted to issue out an apology for my obnoxious talking over too m I mean, I've been doing it a lot. Uh, I've noticed it um, during the latter part of my Red vs. Blue. I've probably done it all throughout as anyways, but um, um, I've noticed it's peaked a bit uh, in the la latter part and... Uh, I know it's a bit too late now. I mean, I've gotten a few covers and I'm like, oh shit, well, um, I'm not sure how, was, uh, you know, the first half of season 15 is going to fare because of the fact that I've already, I was already uh, in the process of recording so many reactions for season 15 anyways, but uh, before, you know, those comments started coming in. But uh, no, I noticed it too. So it's not like, oh, screw those people. It, I noticed it too. So uh, I want to issue out an apology. And uh, hopefully my break within the coming few weeks can hopefully rectify that or whatever. Because I want to, you know, come in with a fresh mind and reboot myself. So yes, it's all good. Anyways, um, on to... Um, the final few episodes with Red vs. Red, episode 19, of course, we've got to go to Earth. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if this is their first journey to Earth, um, because I think, isn't Blood Gulch supposed to be set on another planet anyways? I'm not sure, but, um, yes, uh, we've got to stop the, the Blues and the Reds, of course. Uh, of course, we found out what their plan was in the, in the last episode. Um, after g going dumb all over again, which is a really, really nice touch to a few seasons back, but, um, no, it, uh, we've got to stop them, they'll have to be stopped anyways, because it's the finale, unless this, you know, I, I, I don't know if this arc continues for season 16 or something, but, um, we've got to stop them in some capacity, otherwise it's not going to look good for the Earth, so, um, yes, with that said, episode 19, Red vs. Red, let's go. Here we go. Coming up on the islands. How are we going to know if they're here? I got a feeling they'll see us before we see them. Yep, there's our answer. Ah, Someone yeah, just locked the door. There missiles. we go. Shields up. Go to red alert. What does this hook have in the way of countermeasures? Well, if they shoot, we can counter by exploding. That's about it. Yeah, let's yeah. make that plan B. Our autopilot is worse than useless against guided missiles. I, I don't suppose any of you moonlight as combat pilots? Oh, I crashed a ship once. It was technically a tactical oh, crash. Yeah, yes, I think I me. <laughs> you prefer to die? Uh-oh. Well, there are only two. Hmm. Just a minute. I still haven't figured out how to invert the controller scheme. Oh, for God's uh, sake. It's gaming or 101. It's like me. Whoa, that was on purpose. Up is down. Oh, oh sh God. sugar. Uh, how are we gonna avoid this? No. I was gonna say, how do we avoid this one, but. She's going down. Thanks. I fucking noticed. I still think we should have eliminated. Obvious. Looks like you'll get your wish after all. Shall I lead the greeting party? We've got more important things to do. Have Lorenzo and Cronut roll out the red carpet while we secure the facility. Uh, permission to speak freely, sir. Access denied. Nah. Open oh. <laughs> All right. 
I was gonna say permission die, uh, denied, You're but whatever. So Let's did he want? Oh shit! Not really comforting okay, hospitality, I know I but. I sound like a broken record, but you definitely should have been. Would you shut up about the leaf on the wind shit? <laughs> I got us out alive. You're freaking welcome. The Revere's totally. At least be a bit the grateful, Jack. Still functioning, <laughs> but not for long. That's gonna cost someone an arm and a leg. Hey, besides so... Lopez. Hey, Lopez. How about we turn Ooh. you in a little backpack to see Tripio at the end of Empire? Por favor, no. <laughs> Solo just de the la shape. sombra. <laughs> yeah, de lo suficiente acción para siempre. <laughs> What's that? You want us to throw you into the ocean? Oh, for crying out loud! Why would we do that? No me eches en el <laughs> They're going in. Paul oh, Lopez is getting through. keep you from falling into enemy hands. <laughs> Your selflessness knows no bounds. Senor Griff, de Tangano, por favor. <laughs> hey, don't look at me, Lopez. I'm the lazy one, remember? I can barely speak English. Let's get our boogie on, troops. Before He's trying, for but... survivors. <laughs> Poor Lopez. The power facility is at the top. That's where Temple will be holed up with the machine. Too late to call for backup? Any ideas, Carolina? So what, are they a bit stranded One here as well, given hey, Jack, Chris, um, Dunn's What comments? did you bring in the way of edibles? Ease up, Brosif. Just say it, don't knock it till you try it. Personally, I don't see what the big deal is. They're baby seals. See, that's why it's so funny when you bash your brains in. Personally, I like to put on some Nickelback, do you... a few dozen at a time. <laughs> you yeah, I mean, I guess cold hearted kind of bastard. What? what the heck do you do for fun? Oh, you know, who does that? Stuff. I mean, I apart like from me, my small birthday, children but... down wells. I like oh, yeah, hunting endangered that. animals. I like driving around without ever using my turn signals. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> bitch. Yeah, yeah he's, he's he's a full blown villain. People who do that. Internet. Hell yeah. Pretty much every red on this hill site is a yeah. racist and a holocaust denier. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the blues. We also agree that all women are blood. Oh shit! Oh, oh wait! Been mortally wounded. That was great. Oh shit! Is he on the big like from episode five? See anything? You don't have my glasses. That sounded like Jeremy Bass there from. Hey guys, how's it going? Guys, going good over there. I'm doing the mess rooms, mess mess rooms, and they're doing their thing, and I'm doing my thing, and everything's going great over here. I feel great. Over. <laughs> because we saw that with Simmons as well back in episode 5, that was awesome. Damn it, Sarge! Say hello, Simmons! For Griff, Warthog, all the action! With pleasure, sir. Yeah, suck it, blues and reds! And blues and reds! <laughs> Got three new tangos to the west. Copy that! Going back to the o'clock. Simmons, Phase contact, of the red. 85 uh, degrees east. Simmons, by God, two marks at 12 o'clock. Can we please settle on a consistent denomination? <laughs> are we using cardinal direction or are we using clock position? Simmons, contact, or the starboard. Uh, never mind. Hard right, Sarge. You've got reinforcements from the northwest. You're up, don't nut. Oh. Think my mess rooms are way yeah, off of it. Yeah, I think he's a bit... No, no, it's no, kind no, of... No, no. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, isn't it? You should be fast. Please have mercy. I'm innocent. No, you're not. You use turn signals. Fake news, you cucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. People who use turn signals are never yeah, innocent. Yeah. They're dicks. I tie my shoelaces together. Oh God. <laughs> Good one, Caboose. I'm so sneaky. They don't even know what's happening. You can't even <laughs> see me here. I talk and talk and act. You're so confused. <laughs> Door coming in from the north. Sorry, circle back to regroup. Oh. Hello? Where? Where did you get it? Tell me, Dylan, where? Dr. Johansson? Slow down. What are you talking about? The machine. Where did it come from? It's aliens, isn't it? It has to be. <laughs> the machine. Aliens. But you all said the it time. could never function. I was wrong. And now we're dead. Oh, shh. We're all uh, dead. Uh, oh. The damn thing is fully fucking functional. Up, that's Lorenzo. that's all it's when it's fully fucking functional. <laughs> it's like <laughs> bad news. No. Oh uh oh oh shit. We ran the plans through our simulators, okay? Damn computers froze and overheated. Then it maybe your computer work. needs an upgrade. How? I don't know. But you said it needs a supernova of power. I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, Dylan. Damn thing is a is a 
is a time machine. It generates power by Wait. opening a wormhole to the past and using the energy imbalance between the two timelines like a chronoelectric generator. This is insane. What am it's I what saying? what Loco was saying with Caboose. With oh my god. I wish. I wish that were true. This is some Ark of the Covenant shit, Dylan. <sighs> this is god magic. It's what Caboose, it, like he said, weren't walk past. I said that is it a time machine? Hey, come in hard. Shit. Tucker, copy. I'm on it. Grip. Can you distract the robot? Oh god. Yeah, he's not gonna be distracting Ooh, anything. It, Shax. Yeah, no. Hey! Italian robot! Oh shit. Ah, uh, Fellini sucks! <laughs> oh, and, and Dario Argento <laughs> is a poser! <laughs> Don't be saying Ferrari uh, sucks as well. Leone is uh, overrated. A little, just a little. Alarma. <laughs> Bestamia. <laughs> and soccer is boring as fuck! Oh yeah, yeah. Soccer's boring as fuck all the time. Yeah, we could agree with that. Anyone can agree with that. Shit. Woo! Oh! Data. Damn, that was a kick and a half. Tucker! What in Sam hell do you think you're doing? I'm uh, taking down this back. tank! By punching it? Yeah. yeah, I've never tried that uh, trick before. That's not going to work. It's totally gonna work, you assholes! I'm punching it right in the radiator! <laughs> that's how radiators work! Shut up! Help me punch this fucking tank! Alright, Doc, let's get to the chase. It. What happens if someone uses this fucking time machine laser drill? Well, say goodbye to that planet. Setting aside the tsunamis, earthquakes, and mega volcanoes, the bigger problem is Newton. Care to elaborate? Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The law of consequences. You can't steal energy from the past without the energy coming back to haunt you. Oh Sounds shit! Bad. So Quantum singularity bad. Black hole sucking up the planet bad. Now, Dylan, I love to see. They used the drill and, and the... forever. But me and the guys need to run some tests on how fast we can get shit face wasted and pass out under our lab desks before dying. Sounds like a plan, Doctor. They use. Thanks for the insight. So every time they use the drill, like when they use the drill Doctor, and it opens, stop it! <laughs> it's time to wind me. I'll this is the best it. idea you've ever had. You're going to break your arm. Ugh. I don't think he no, gives a shit. This. I'm gonna break this fucking tank! Ah! Seems bloody adamant. Tucker, please. Oh shit, yeah! Check me out, motherfucker! Tucker, he actually did it! Back. That should not have worked. But it did. Fully functional, he said. Powered by an honest to God's time machine. But I know it's impossible. How can no, you say it's that? Not. We've traveled in time before. No, we didn't. No. We just thought we did. Don't you remember? Oh shit. I think you might be Still right. Still going through the oh, simulation so phase. Regardless, if Temple switches on this damn thing, it's the apocalypse. That's what matters right now. He wouldn't destroy the planet for vengeance. You he might not know. even know. He might not be thinking about anything but revenge. Yeah, he might be an idiot. Well, he's definitely dangerous. Come on, let's go. Ugh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a minute, guys. I told oh, you she's gonna have the shit. That once was a terrible idea. Yeah, I'm gonna hurl. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> still, I'll hold your twice head. as bad. Well, you've got 30 seconds. We still got work to do before that psychopath turns on the time machine. Um. Oh no. You were saying? We're too late. Shit. Oh boy, that was that was chaotic with um um everyone taking down the. I guess the cannon for the soldiers, because, I mean, they're not the blues and the reds, they're not the temples, the locos, the crown, yeah, they're not them, they're just like the foot soldiers for the bigger picture, I guess, but, uh, so, basically, when they use the drill, it, um, uh, creates a, like, well, like, um, elaborated, a door, a, a window to the past, or whatever, or the future, um, and that energy, the time energy, you know, in, a, in like you said, in return, comes back and creates this black hole. So, yeah, it's all really, really interesting. I, I knew there was some, you know, timey-wimey business going on with this season, with the fact that Loco did, pr um, you know, he did kind of promise that he would want to um, take Loco to see, say goodbye to his best friend. Uh, take Caboose to see his best friend, should I say. Um, of course, at the time I thought, oh, 
wait, like the goodbye message, like is it, like give him some alone time or whatever. Um, but then he mentioned about you know the whole wormhole past thing, and that and that resonated, you know, time travel to me because wormholes, you know, it, it and the past, it all adds up, and I'm this time travel geek myself, so come on, it had to be that. But um, so it looks like it's a time machine drill. A drill... No, 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 time machine drill's okay. Um, but yes, that was really epic, uh, especially Jack's, you know, insulting Italian... I think he insulted Italian culture there. Although, you know, soccer's more global and whatever, and plus, I do agree that soccer is boring. But, um, very brave, and then took a, you know, so adamant on punching the tack. I don't know why, but, um... I got that vouching a while off feeling when he said, I'm putting it right in the radiator. I don't know if it's just me or me just being dirty minded, but, um, um, yeah, it, it was, it was really, uh, fun stuff, uh, especially took a, you know, proving Carolina wrong, I guess, with the, uh, the fact that you can destroy a tank by putting, I haven't tried it on my games. I've always tried rocket launchers and I always end up dying. I'm kidding. I'm not that much of a noob. Um, but yes, a great uh, calm, well, I'd say calm before the storm, because they want to get to the blues and reds, but they've already activated the drill, it seems, so, well, I was actually going to say something else as well, but I forgot. I mean, apart from the fact that the mesh rooms uh, came into fact, uh, you know, we saw Simmons doing that, but that wasn't the thing. I'm sure it'll co come to me, like, in several years down the line. Anyways, it's blue versus blue, like I imagined, because you can't have red versus red and then blue versus blue. I mean, well, what's the... Th I wonder what the last episode's going to be. I don't know, because you got red versus red, blue versus blue, the most sensible title to end this, like, three-parter, I guess, um, would be red versus blue. But, you know, you'd call it that if it was the season... The total finale or whatever, so uh, we'll just worry about episode 20. Let's go. Working! It's working! It's alive! Mwah. No! Ah, ah, for you real? You don't want it to yes, be alive. The president's cascade is growing. The drill is drilling, and the door, the door will be opening too. Hooray! Uh, Loco, you magnificent hooray. bastard! I love you right now. Let's okay, let's. The champagne just yet. I was gonna say, calm down. Inside the facility, Take the they have feelings down the notch. Fuck! Oh. Well, whatever. Surge, hold them off. You need to buy us time. But I don't have the reason. But nothing, Grunt. A soldier follows orders, no matter what. You taught me that. So make good on it and buy us some motherfucking time. Sir, yes, your yes, life sir. for, for, oh, for the great cause. Oh, boy. I, I have to get something from the ship. Wow, like hell. You need to stay here and watch these controls. <laughs> it runs itself. But I'll be real quick. Fine. But listen, Loco. The reds and blues are our mortal enemies. If you see them, you have to kill them. No. Okay. Don't do Make that. I love it when it's being slow to him, like, get it. Find machine and stand. shut it the fuck down. Uh, which way? No choice. We've got to split up. Reds, head that away. It's like a freaking The blue and me and Carolina will take the other door. That was a hell of a hike up here, Carolina. Are you sure you don't need a minute? Yes, I'm sure. If I they take it easy, elevator. I'll be fine. <laughs> You, on the other hand... Jax and I will stay here where it's safe for us. It's better that way. Let the record state that we all know you're lying. Duly noted. <laughs> Take donuts for protection, at least. I oh, knew I wow. wore my latex armor for a reason. What is Bill Crying out loud. Shields? Reds, on me. As far as nothing. days to die go... Today is... A... Oh. Let's check our corners. And make these bastards pay. Yeah! Hey, let's light the fires and kick the tires. Reds, let's dance with these monkeys and give them what for. Blues! Let's put the pedal to the metal and the rubber to the road. Fred, let's get jiggy with it. No, 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 no. I think the record is two hours. Fred, so let's shoot this monkey full of heroin and put it on YouTube. Actually, let's not do that. It sounds completely horrible. Yeah, and plus you'd be demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Very specific Fred, there, Sarge. Let's teach these midgets how to tango. Yeah. Not discriminating, okay, Sarge? Come on. <sighs> Carolina just saving the boosters. <sighs> Taking it easy, huh? Shut up! <laughs> and help me up, please. Yeah. Yes, be a gentleman. <laughs> well, 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 look what the cat Oh, right shit. Here. I can't believe I have to hear this shit in stereo now. <laughs> hey, um, Tucker already made that joke? God damn it! Groove! <laughs> 
But it sounds better from grip, doesn't Get it? Get on out of here. Uh, Sarge, if you'll allow me, I think that's stupid. We've got him out number three to one. Let's just shoot him and move on. It would be so easy. But just put a cap in his ass. Simplicity in red versus no. blue. I must face my demons. Mono a mono. Now go. Oh, hey, come on. We don't have time for this. Sarge is uh, faced. Try hard to win, sir. <laughs> well, Sarge versus his doppelganger. This is it. Two men enter. One man leaves. Dun dun. Wow. to be this way. We can walk on out of here together. Unlike you, I would never betray my duty. My God, man! Open your eyes. You enlisted in the army to help save the world, and here you are about to destroy it. Yeah, no, not. I'm not or too well. Not before the good cause, are you? Orders. At least when I die, I'll die with honor. Ooh. Honor schmoner. Oh, There's more to life than blindly following orders like some automaton. What? True. Like friendship? Like knowing right from wrong, and good from evil, and red from blue. <laughs> That's what makes us us. But put that, that difference aside for one second. soldiers. We're villains. Terroristas. Vampires. Oh, for God's I sake. No vampire. You were the vampire. Oh shit. Oh Let shit. Go. It's better I die in battle. No. That would be wrong, Serge. And a true he's, he's gonna slip, isn't he? Always knows the difference. That's what real honor, oh, God. real patriotism, real duty is all about. <laughs> oh, whoops. I had a feeling he was going to slip in some capacity, oh, but not like that. Thank like, stars. whatever. You know, we have to hurry. <laughs> Blues and reds are up to some serious, really bad, not good at all mischief. And we've oh. got to stop them. You now you've the turned a fucking round, haven't you? Yeah. Guys, I found out about your plans and tried to talk them out of it. It didn't go great, and then they locked me up, I swear. Bull fucking mm. shit. Scout's honor. Except I was never a scout because I'm afraid of badges. But I'm telling you, <laughs> the Blues and reds are broken bad, guys. I'm really worried about them. Do you believe Bobby. a word this asshole is saying, wow. Carolina? Carolina? Oh shit! Oh shh! Oh jeez! It's that reckless it's thing I was talking dirty. about in the last they episode. Don't wash her at the spa. Who would believe that, Tucker? You thought we were out getting food. <laughs> I. Okay, hearing that back now, it does sound kind of stupid. You need yeah. medical attention, Carolina. The fact that you've made it this far without collapsing is America. not really human. What do you think you're doing? Tucker, I am the only person within a thousand miles with any medical knowledge whatsoever. Now, yeah, but he's not, not much, that good, is he? And I'd honestly feel much more comfortable if there was someone besides me who knew what they were doing. <laughs> and it's been a while since I've actually practiced. And oh, for God's it, sake. It's not really a medical device. It's actually an alien pistol. Okay, please. <laughs> fine, he realizes. Talking. Tucker, it's fine. You go after Temple. I'll catch up when I can. Take it Damn easy. It. Because it's that Attacker, reckless thing I was talking about. Don't kill him unless you have to. No promises. Do it, 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 do it. It's that reckless thing I was talking about with Carolina, though. Ah, they're coming up she behind she is like I'll that. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no. I can see where this is going. <laughs> There's no differences. Ah, I have to shoot him, Griff. Hurry. No, Griff, shoot him. He's Gene. Griff, He's gonna don't shoot. listen to him. I'm Simmons. the real Simmons. He's lying, and then the Griff. G shoot him. Simmons. Ah, shit. I, I can't hold it, Griff. Shoot him. Why which are one? we here? What? what? I said, why are we here? Answer me now. Because oh, we need to the stop these evil question. Fucks, that's why. No. We don't know why we're here. It's still one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Ow! Ah! If you were the real Simmons, you would have answered that like Thanks, that. Griff. No problem, dude. Help! I'm sorry I tried to kill you. It wasn't personal. Oh, help Do me we up, believe him? Help me up. We can work on inventory spreadsheets together. We can quote Star Wars and solve quadratic equations. <laughs> what are you thinking? I mean, he is all the way over there. And maybe we can come back for him later. What? What are you talking oh, about? Oh, wow. I guess I'm just... <laughs> Feeling kind of lazy. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, oh that's old that's so. Simmons, I lied about Star Wars. I actually prefer the prequels. <laughs> oh, this bitch is gonna, gonna die. Prequel. And come back in a shitty video game. Christ, he's annoying. <laughs> oh my god, right? It's not just me. <laughs> oh my god, the the Simmons and Griff romance. Uh, well, bromance. Suck it, you stupid bastard! When I kill you, I'm gonna Where, what, your car. Welcome back in the video oh, game. I know you came back. Clone Wars. Come on. Come on! Oh, it's because he's Fuck. not bonded. Fuck! What's the matter, Bucky? Can't get it up? <laughs> oh, so tight. Tucker wannabe can't get it up. You wish you were, Tucker. But you don't have the bars. Oh, dearie. Game over, Temple. Hardly. More like game on, and just in time for the fireworks, no less. Turn that thing the fuck off. Impossible. <laughs> tell him, Plus, Tucker. Aren't you Go on, tell him. about what happens next? According to Loco, we're almost to the awesome part. I, for well, one, blows am in your face. quite curious about this door he keeps going on about. What happens next is time you're going to destroy the fucking machine, planet if machine. you don't turn off that machine. No need to be dramatic. It's true. Loco's machine is a doomsday device. You'll destroy the Wait, UNSC, so he doesn't... but you'll wipe out the entire planet in the process. Wait, so he is Bullshit. clouded? You all just want to help the UNSC in exchange Shit, for he is. medals and favors. Well, fuck you. And anyway, it's too late. No off switch, you see? You can't stop it, and neither can I. Hands up, dirtbag. Have you, have you sure, tried yes, to turn sir. it on, off, on, on and off again? It's here, isn't it? Why don't we all just fucking chill? Uh, okay. God damn it. Oh shit! Move. Oh, Son of a he's armor locked Son of a them. Oh Andrew. shit! I'm stiff too, and my armor is locked. What's wrong with Good that? Oh, that's oh right. wait, you're a special case. It's because he's a different mark, isn't it? Courtesy of that old helmet of yours. Uh -huh. How about this? You don't fucking move. Because he got his old helmet don't back. I fucking pop your friends like pimples with this remote. He's bluffing. Try it. Okay, Shelly, play monologue mix. Oh, for God's sake. You know, you all remind me of my favorite <laughs> Churchill quote. Yours is a story told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. What? Apropos, <laughs> no. Meh, my monologues were better. <laughs> yes. Rome wasn't burned in a day, but the UNSC will be. Wait, you what? You attacked them on behalf of Kimball, and independence and the dna that you left at our base will be the icing on your destruction you'll be stuck between Wait, a rock what? and the frying pan Wait, oh, what? My ears. you are terrible with metaphors <laughs> yeah so uh, i was thinking there was something of what he's saying the planet. i didn't start the fire it was always burning since the world's been turning. They made their cake. Now they can lie in it. What about the, the dozens you've killed? Your own <laughs> men. The pilot in Desert Gulch. Who answers for them? Oh, if I said that I would weep for them, would it make you feel any better? No, oh, no because you're bullshitting. Your ass, my... Oh, Get away from my Griff. Mouth, you Go on, Griff. Yeah! <laughs> Freaking oh, old Griff. Do it again. <laughs> yes, do it again. So much for heroism. <laughs> Join your friends in the circle or die here. I'm not going anywhere. Have it your way. He said that in episode six, didn't Oh shit. What's Gr the matter, Temple? Afraid of blood? Shut up! Oh! It's because it's bit. Oh shit, you can't stomach it! Uh -huh. Alright! Game on, bitches! Beat this. Uh oh. Hey! Gaboot! I have something for um, you, Gaboot! We might need oh, to turn fuck. this. Oh shit! Oh. Oh shit. Uh, oh! Oh, that idiot! Loco! Shit! Your batteries. I brought you some. He remembered. Oh. 
You can fix freckles now. Cause he walking back. Oh, oh my god. Oh, thank you. It's eight. Is he gonna die? I think so. Yeah. Loco. Like the machine. Shot. How do we turn it off? Can't. Impossible. But oh, Caboot. I did make the door. Because friends, best friends should be able able to say goodbye. Oh, look. What does he mean? Bye bye. <gasps> hey. Bye. Oh. Did he consider? Oh, did they consider each other best friend? Uh oh. Okay. <gasps> Caboose? Church! Ricky, what the hell are you doing up here? You're supposed to be guarding the flag! Church! Oh, wow. Um... Did they consider each other best friends? I, I don't know if it's just me looking too much into things, but... They said bye to each other. It was like they, um, and then, you know... His kind of quote, uh, best friend should be able to say goodbye. That's what I'm taking. I'm taking it as official. So if anyone else doesn't, screw it. I'm taking it as official. Um, but that was that was an awesome... God damn it. Temple's uh, friggin' monologue was just absolutely incredible. Like, one of the best... It definitely, you know, connected, didn't it? God damn it. But I just love the fact that he couldn't shoot Griff because it reminded him of Biff. Like, you can't... Like, how would it feel? Like, because they've got... You know, it's not like they've got uh, faces on. They're coated with armor, so the similarities is haunting, and it would literally be like shooting your best friend. So, oh, uh, that, was, that was an awesome judgment uh, moment for... Uh, that scene, it was really, really awesome. But, but, but you know, lucky Griff, uh, to be fair, isn't it? Because um, if it was Simmons, then I think he wouldn't, um, he wouldn't hesitate. So, um, yeah, I'm wondering what uh, game Maul came back in because he said, I, I know the thing. Like, I'm gonna Darth Maul this, yeah, because he did survive and come back in a shitty video game. Um, Unless they're talking about Halo or whatever. Because I'm just thinking, I know he came back in the Clone Wars, it's just I don't know what video game he came back in, so... Um, but yeah, that was really, really awesome. Carolina taking it reckless again. I, I said this in the last episode, she was being a bit reckless and uh, she got ahead of herself as well. Well, to be fair, she was saving Caboose's skin, so that took out a bit of energy, but... Uh, Still, she could have arrested a bit more, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but it all goes back to my comments about her being a bit reckless. Um, what else was there? What else was there? I mean, um, oh, the Sarge versus Surge thing. I had a feeling uh, Sarge was going, uh, well, Surge was going to die when, you know, he um, Sarge just grappled onto him. Because I was thinking, there's going to be a slip. Like, um, he's probably going to ramble on about nothing. And... It'll be too late, so... But I think the way he, he's let go was even better, because he just salute. At least he gave him a, you know, a soldier's farewell or whatever. He gave him a salute, goodbye, the last thing he saw, so... I guess it's better than, you know, a, sh a, a shambolic death, I guess, but... Yeah, that was, that was an awesome way. So, Loco getting shot, I mean... I, f I feel so bad, like... Uh, now that Loco is dead, it's like, uh. but uh, the machine's active, so that not good. And so the final episode, epilogues. Wait, um, wait, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just scrolling back. I'm just scrolling back. Oh, it was okay. I was thinking, wasn't the first one called Prologue? Uh, so yeah, okay, that makes even more sense than Red versus Blue, but. Uh, yeah, um, so the last episode, and then I'm caught up for like 10 days, and then here we go again. Um, but yes, um, the machine's active, he's going to see church, I'm so happy about this. Um, but he gets to say goodbye, and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> because it was, you know, it's it's going to be painful, because, you know, the c relationship between Caboose and church or Epsilon, so it's like... But uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready for this episode twenty one, the final one. It's been a really really interesting season. Um, 
I don't know if I made a review because I can't remember because I'm a I'm a dumb piece of shit. But um, I was going to say season fifteen has been a really really decent one. Um, it's been a really it, especially I think the first half was really really intense. Um, the sec the middle seemed a bit okay. Um, but I really loved the blue versus um, yeah the blue versus red two parter. Uh, and the finale did definitely have some intrigue as well. But, uh, yeah, season 15's been pretty, pretty neat. Not as good as season 8 or um, 10 or... Uh, was it 13? Yeah, 13. But it's up there. It's 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 still a pretty, pretty interesting uh, story that we've got into. But, yes. Um, let's waste no time. Epilogues. Let's go. What the fuck, guys? I came up here for some peace and quiet. What on earth is happening? Look what machine opened a portal to the past. Geez, Dylan, try to keep up. Yeah, so we oh, couldn't see no George again. No freaking way. Hurry. Hurry, Caboose. Guys. You don't have long. So is he getting to say his goodbyes to... Oh, wow. Caboose! So oh, interesting thing. No, Tucker. I, Can do that? I know what I need to do. Seriously, what the fuck is happening right now? Is there something in the water? Church, church, there's a lot of things I never got to say, and I know I won't get another chance to say them, so... I think you are cool. Like, like super awesome, amazing, cool, and... Oh, no, 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 we're like not going into really the awesome too, when we were hanging out together. You know, I really felt sad when you died, because... What do you mean, when I died? <laughs> Spot. I, I never felt sad when you died, because... I couldn't imagine a world without you, but I know it's real. I, mean, I know. And I'm sad. Things, things really aren't okay without you. But I, I know with my other friends, who, who even if you add them all up together, aren't really as cool as you. I, I know we're all gonna be okay. I know we're all gonna be okay. I know we're all gonna be okay. Go back to heaven now, church. Say hello to Loco when you get there. Oh. He was alright too. <laughs> alright! Which one of you asshats wants to tell me what the fuck is going oh, on? Oh, that, that, that got the feels there. That got the feels. Oh, wow. I don't know if we're going to be around long enough to parse together a theory. We're out of time. Oh, we need shit. to do something. Like what? Shoot it? And the energy's boosting up oh, the tr- no. Oh. We need a sacrifice. Shut up, Jack. <laughs> no, listen. That's how this always works. <laughs> one of us needs to heroically sacrifice themselves while giving an emotional monologue. Damn it. He's right. What? <gasps> Sarge. But who is willing to lay down their life? Oh, we really go for the no. Not it. No one needs to make a heroic sacrifice. Yo, yo, yo! Did I just hear the words heroic? Vic, no, and he's on his back. Oh, he's... oh shit! Vic, Vic, I know it's a long shot. Cause he wants to die. This machine has some computer systems. Can you try to? Yeah, 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 yeah! And this is wish number uh, three. Three, uh, isn't it? Wish number three, the last one. Now oh, go. Oh my god! Oh boy! Hey guys! Hey dude! I do. I've never seen a system like this one before. Can you stop Shit. it? No way! No way! But maybe I can stabilize it! I'm oh? gonna try to read it! Shit, it's over! Get a better processor! Oh? Dudes! Dudettes! And dudorinos! If you're Wait. using this message, oh, that's no. because I can't get to the phone right now. Don't tell- It also means oh I had my to race God. my debates to the save the day for all y'all. You're welcome. And your old buddy Vic only has one more thing to say. No, see. it's too soon. You know, there are so many stories where some brave heroic steps up and goes and gives her life <laughs> to save the, the day. Because of it, the good guys win, the survivors all cheer, hooray! And everybody lives happily ever after. <laughs> Except for Vic. Oh yeah! I'm out of here! Leave a message after the peep, compadres! But I'm I don't check it this. because I'm in the eternal infinity! This is Fa 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 V I C K signing off. Oh wow. And if anybody backed me up, I will punch you in the nuts. <laughs> this is his heaven dying! Did wow. He, he did something. Whoa. Oh shit, wait! Michael. Look at this! Whoa. Oh? Does someone want to explain what the fuck just happened? We, uh, well, it disappears, so obvious. I think. Oh shit. Look at that. Coward. 
Go on, Toka. Kill him. Kill him. Yes, kill him. This is for Wash, you piece of shit. Oh, Hunter, shit. Hunter, stop. Oh, come on. Now you show up? Don't kill him. Oh. I think she makes a great point, Unless you have Hunter, to. But he deserves it more than anyone. He's a killer. And so are we. But we're a different sort, Tucker. We're not merciless. We only fight and take lives when we have to. And you don't have to this time. Oh, yeah, damn. Tucker, if you kill me, you'll just perpetuate this never-ending cycle of revenge and retaliation. My friends. You'll just be like me. Avenge me. What friends? Oh. I, uh, <laughs> no, 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 please. Dip nice head. punch. Oh, wow. Wasted the fuck. Did somebody call for backup? Aww, that was a, that was a great little party, convincing moment. Hey, oh. look who finally showed up. Just in time to mop up another one of our messes. Big bro? Is that you? <gasps> hey, wait, wait. Oh, hell. Oh, what sister. Are you doing here? I was on course for business when these weirdos got your call. They let me tag along. Business? Oh, God. Do I need to confiscate your webcams again? <laughs> Shut up and hug me. Oh. I love. <laughs> huh? You'll be happy to I know Dr. That. Ray has Washington alive and recovering. Yay. Oh, that's music. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, music to my ears. to deliver an important message to you all. But then he just sang the Ducktales theme song and fell back asleep. President <laughs> 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 Kimball has questions about his delivery to chorus. Apparently, no one at DD General can figure out how he ended up at the hospital in the first place. That's a uh, a long story. Uh, maybe we don't worry her with it right now. But I have a feeling her relationship with the UNSC will get a little easier after we file the final story. Blues and reds. Vic, huh? Oh. Come in. Yeah, Vic. Please kill our fallen comrade here. Sick. A moment of respectful silence. Yes. Anyway, who's hungry? Oh, oh for God's it. sake. I can go for some grub. I can eat a horse. With you, oh, God. I'm worried that's not a figure of speech. That's a figure of speech? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Whatever. Are we done here? Grub is literally me. Follow the lazy pop. Job well done, Jax. Nothing left to do but post this bad boy. And read all the comment threads. <laughs> Any God. idea what you'll do when the dust settles? Because we're Back still to the school? Well, I don't know. Gotta say, this whole thing did give me a wicked idea for a movie. Send me the script when it's done, will ya? I'd love to check it out. <laughs> of course. And, uh, good job. She's serious? Dylan, you know I'll never forget Oh, this, no. Right? They're going for a romantic pig. I mean, PTSD is forever, isn't it? Hi, Carlos. Oh, Get shit, you. okay. Dylan Andrews, that's Damn. I'm so excited. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Well, after you stole my ship and went missing <laughs> Wait, with my nephew, I did have somewhat of a <laughs> Just breakdown. No, sir. But I'm fine now. The doctors have me on horse tranquilizers, and I feel like a fluffy, soft load of laundry. <laughs> this is this is the Carlos we can get behind. Please, Dylan. And that's about me. One. How are you doing? Great. The assignment's all finished. <laughs> oh. Wonderful news! <laughs> I never doubted you for a single solitary second. Tell me, Dylan, how is my nephew? He's good. His bullet wounds are healing nicely. Um, Ixnay on the bullet, bullet wounds, eh? Did you, did you say his wounds? Wounds as in plural? Oh, yeah, shit. multiple gunshot wounds. He's in much better shape than your ship, though. Are you this trying to give Carlos a heart attack? My ship is totaled. My ship... <laughs> it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You know what really matters? The story. Did you get the story? Oh, we got yes, it. Yes, but we it'll have it. to wait. Someone is finally returning oh, my call. Look at I'm waiting! Don't you dare hang up on me, all right? I'm not about putting a contract out on your stinky... Do it, Dylan. Yo, dude. Take a chill pill. I don't have the time for the full thing, but I can at least send you the wrap up while I take this. You listen to me. I'm talking. She hung up on you. What are you gonna do about it? When I first described the Reds and Blues, I called them heroes. That may have been premature. Legends. What I've come to understand after spending time with them is they're more than that. They're stupid and arrogant. Oh, and yeah. lazy, and selfish, and stubborn. None of the qualities any reasonable person would call heroic. What the Reds and Blues have taught me is that it's not the sum of your parts that makes you who you are. It's not what you're endowed with, not intelligence or strength, Ooh. but what you hold on to throughout the hardest trials of life. 
Ooh, the heart. These people have shown me that real heroes are not born, they're forged. A friend told me once that there's no fate but what you make. And I think he's right. What makes a hero is their ability to choose light over darkness. Shit. To walk through fire and not be burned. To fall from great heights <laughs> and not be same. broken. To be changed and reborn and be better for it. Again and again. It's who you become when you lose someone close. When the world stops making sense, when you're thrust into responsibility that you never asked for. That's what makes a hero. And that's what makes the reds and blues some of the greatest our universe has ever seen. Wow. This has been Dylan Andrews. Signing off. Interstellar Daily. Great article. A great article. Oh god, did they do a Star Wars? Like the little... Wow, that was awesome. Um, yeah, that was awesome. That, that, you know, what makes a hero speech was, act, act, was, was actually really, really awesome. It was really, really awesome. Because, uh, I don't know, it resonated for me for somehow. It was like, I don't know, describing the Doctor in some capacity or other heroes who have gone, or other people who go through heroic means and have gone through hell. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if there's any um, post credit scenes. Hang on. Ugh. Where's my uh, thing, my USB? Because it's dying. My controller. Ugh. Oh? Mealtime! <laughs> ah, something special for you guys. Oh dearie, they're, they're locked up. Awesome. Ah! Get used to it! I mean, you did anyways. I'm wondering if there's going to be any more. I should probably just stick around or whatever, but yeah. Um, yeah, that was a really, really awesome finale. Uh, there was a, There's a few talking points, especially the caboose and uh, church thing. Uh, and the Vic sacrifice with the Epsilon thing. You know, it's, actually, it's funny, because um, it's been a couple of seasons for me, and I, it's a couple of seasons, it's only been like a month ago since, well, no, two months, actually, since uh, Epsilon did pass, and it, I'm still not over it, okay? Probably not the best idea for me to be watching that. Just love the music, though. It has that nice little 80s vibe, doesn't it? Um, but yes, too soon too soon, but, um, no, it was really awesome, and then, And then Temple oh. says, revenge is a dish best served frozen, and he's <laughs> is he taking the piss out of the armor. All right, all right. Skip to the end now. How's it all wrap up? Well, oh, you'll just actually... have to read the script to find out. All 311 pages. This is... Hard to believe this all really happened. <laughs> it's all true. Every single word. For the most part, I took some dramatic license with the movie references, budged a few plot points here and there, but that's the gist oh, that's of it, you know, every movie the gist ever. of it, more or less. Well, our studio hasn't made an original movie in a few hundred years, but we might be in <laughs> Hollywood. Hollywood. You shopping this around at all? Listen, Pete, I got offers all over Tinseltown for this spec, but if you're looking for something else, I could tell you about a little movie called Moondoo. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Moondoo, he, he did mention that, I was going to say, it is Hollywood, actually. I was gonna say, we haven't made an original movie in a few hundred years or so. I wonder if there's gonna be any more. We came it... to this planet for some peace and quiet. Who? No more mercenaries, villains, or nefarious fates. Wait. Pirates. Oh no! What oh shit! That? It's okay. Kyle Rogan! I got my wish! Oh my god, it's Caroline because she did say she sunk and out somehow the bees could be controlled. The singing covers caught the dinosaurs, how to rock and roll. Oh wow, it's it's ten out of ten, Caroline, okay? Ten out of ten. <laughs> That she could sing, and I do believe it. Well, she could sing better than me.
Is that it? Oh, I thought it was okay. I thought it was it was neat. I thought that was a 10 out of 10 performance, Carolina. And we have, yes, this has to be it. Considering this is the end of my journey, I guess, until season 16 starts, it all started out with this. Oh, wow. I feel like it's fitting that I caught up to season 15 with this being on. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I lost it there. That's what it should have been called, like four episodes of I Guess I Give Me. Especially with Sarge vs. Surge, but oh well. Can't believe it all started out with this. Feels poetic to end here. Oh! What the actual fuck? Alright, well, I'm just gonna try to forget that ever happened and never bring it up again. <laughs> And it makes sense why we didn't find out about it. Wow, I'm caught up. Awesome. That was Red vs. Blue. All 15 seasons uh, caught up. Uh, like I said, apologies for me, you know, um, gobbling on through most of it. Uh, even though I, you know, I'm able to listen, but whatever. It's very discomforting for the viewer, but... Uh, mm. Um... I'll make it for it for the next fifteen odd seasons or whatever, but uh yeah. Anyways, um yes, that's it until ten days time for me, I guess. Although for you guys it'll be a couple of days. Um I'm gonna check something because I'm sure it's a Sunday. It's the seventh today. Uh yeah, I'm sure it is the fifteenth. Don't red vs blue videos come out on the Sunday, I believe? I think so, but uh <laughs> yeah, um, you don't have to add to that because I'll already be watching it by the time this video is released, so here we go. Um, but yes, um, that that was it. And whatever format I'm going to do, the Red vs. Blue reactions will depend on... Because I think I believe back in episode 1 I, I said, okay, I'm going to either do one video a week um, or two episodes every two weeks or whatever. Um, so whatever the results come back from that... Um, I'll do it by that order or whatever, so I will just have to wait and see. But yes, uh, that um, I'm going to usher out my thoughts on that because I didn't have much to ex uh, express because uh, there was uh, Marvel-styled uh, end credit scenes, as well as the fantastic performance of Carolina. Like, oh, that was perfect. That was an anticipated way. I mean, well, to be fair, it is definitely better than mine, but that's, that's it said. I mean, that's not really saying much. A strangled cat with laryngitis or whatever, I couldn't sing better with th than uh, me, <laughs> literally. Uh, don't want to hear me sing, but um, no, I mean, it was it was awesome to finally get that, because I was like, oh, are we going to see, see Caroline sing? No? Oh, uh, I was wondering who it was at first, but when she mentioned about being stranded on a planet, like wanting to get away from it all, I was like, because um, of course that's what they wanted, and then they get brought into this mess, so maybe they'll finally get some peace. Probably not. Um, but yes, it was an awesome finale. The Vic, oh my god, the Vic uh, mimicking the Epsilon goodbye with the 8-bit kind of music in the background was just like... Here's the thing, it's only been a couple of months since Epsilon said goodbye and I got, you know, my heart shattered. And... I'm not over it. I don't know how everyone else felt. I mean, they've had some time to process this, but I'm not over it. But it was still funny because it was Vic. And plus, Vic, this is what Vic wanted. He was on wish number three. I, Because, of course, we go back to uh, Vic's um, agreement under the conditions that after three wishes, he dies. Um, and as soon as wish three came up, it was like, okay, this is it. And then you just had to mimic it. For fuck's sake. Um... It, it's hurtful. It's hurtful, but um, a brilliant sacrifice to have the machine pop out of existence. It seemed because it was then. It was like there we go. Um, but I'm not over it. Not over it. How could you guys? Um, the church and caboose goodbye was absolutely shattering in the heart, in the feels. It was really, really. Especially when Caboose just put his finger in, like, like that was it was it was a really painful opening. But Loco being the hero, 
in the in my eyes, even though the drill thing in Bob is bad news. He wanted to do this for Caboose, and he even considered him a best friend. I'm still holding on to that, so yeah, fight me if you if you disagree. Um, but yeah, it, it was a really really powerful goodbye scene. Uh, like go uh, to heaven and say hi to Loco. Really really powerful stuff. Um, I really loved the the um, the Doctor's daughter kind of ending for Tucker. Uh, I'm saying that because, uh, of course, the Doctor was given the choice to kill General Nob, as I like to call him, because he shot Jenny, and I was like, I would have killed him. I would have fucking killed him because he was a fucking dick. I'm not over that. But, no, um, what for those who don't get uh, get it, he, he was given this choice, but, you know, given uh, you had you had the choice as well to be the better man, and that's what the Doctor chose, which is what... Because Tucker was initially going to kill him, and then... Although it was less vocal with the Doctor-Daughter kind of thing, because it was like that really tense moment. You were like, oh shit, it was really tense. So, um, I'm going on about Doctor Who, and it's like... Um, but, no, it, it was still a good scene with Carolina, try, uh, you know, suggesting... I think it was... I think it had a lot of meaning as well, considering how, um, you know, Carolina said, we're, we are killers, but we're a different kind. You don't have to be like them, but if you do this you'll only just become them. And and I think it's poetic to say that because, of course, it's red uh, and blues and blues and red, so you'll only be no different to uh, your doppelganger, really. Um, so a really nice bit of convincing speech from Carolina there, who um, made it just in the nick of time, of course, after, you know, having to take it easy, but, you know, that reckless thing. But uh, I thought that was a really, really great scene. Although he did deserve a punch. I think you should have punched him in the nuts, though, just for, you know, you know, you could have just done it. Even further, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, that final speech with, uh, what makes a hero, uh, for Dylan was absolutely powerful as well. Um considering that it kind of, like, I'm going with another Doctor Who reference, because, uh, although it's Doctor Who entirely, but it's not just that, it's those, like I said, in the credits thing, I think I said, that it's those heroes who, you know, have, have it's those people who have gone through hell, uh, not just the Doctor, but every hero who've gone through hell, maybe Batman, considering he lost his parents, uh, but is a better person for it, because, you know, and... They are not, they choose the light over the darkness, as, you know, Dylan said. So, I thought that was a really, really powerful speech there. The credit scenes were funny as well, especially the, uh, uh, Jack scene where he's pitching his movie in. That was really, really, uh, red versus blue, of course. Um, and I love, uh, I love Church, you know, just, Pretend it never happened, which of course, you know, otherwise we, we, we would have gotten a weird cutscene back at season one. But yeah, here we are. We're at the very end of season 15. I mean, season 16 will be coming up next for you guys in a matter of days or whatever this video comes out on. But, um, um, for me, it, it's a 10 day wait. So it's not the longest I've waited between Red vs. Blue because I had two weeks off, I think, in season 14 because I was so busy writing and shit. So, uh, but, in terms of being in sync, that's it. So, uh, yes. Um, thank you guys who have tuned in to me for all of these episodes. I'll put the playlist if you've missed any. I mean, there's a lot of videos to go through, but that's Red vs. Blue, isn't it? So, there's a lot of videos for you guys to go through if you want to uh, check out any reactions you might have missed. You could also view my uh, videos as well as my media feeds and channel if you want to. I uh, hope you guys take care of yourselves, hope you, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!